It's five below. The deer are up on their feet trying to stay warm. Or they're bedded trying to stay warm. Whatever it is. We got today and we have tomorrow. And if we don't find one, well, we're going to have a lot of fun trying. Stay tuned. I'm cold. I'm turning my thermostat back on. basin down here but in the snow you'd be able to see them even at this lowest light period but there's nothing down there eyelashes are starting to freeze you know it's cold when your eyelashes start freezing last I checked it was 14 below I've hunted in colder weather before. Kind of an interesting hunt. There's so few tags, but a lot of locals come out here just because they want to see the deer migrating we've met some really nice people out here they're all very very nice and helpful and so i enjoy that part of it actually there's two guys who've been regulars out here uh they know we stay up here in glass all day and they stop by and visit and this morning they're just flying across that flat down there <laughs> uh, Something tells me they see our truck up here. You haven't missed anything. Oh, hi. Hi. Good morning. How are I'm, you guys? I'm Randy. Keisha. Keisha, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. It's cold out here. Oh, what's this? Oh, donut. Oh my goodness. Look at this! And as you requested, oh my gosh! So we grabbed all the bags. We only have these two. So, so Michael likes the crunchy ones. What do we owe you guys? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. Oh yeah. What are they? Flashies. They're like grandpa dogs. These ones have jalapenos in them. Oh my goodness. Where, where is this from? Cowboy Donuts in Rock Springs? Yeah. Really? Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so much. Gosh. Where do we put all this stuff? In the back seat? I'm going to have a donut. I know that. That's why we probably haven't seen anything yet. Whoo, baby. So warm. You know how I was just telling you all these local people here are so nice? Look at that. <laughs> we were talking about all you guys. Were you? Mm-hmm. So now it's nice that you showed up so we can have you on camera. Yeah. This is breakfast for me this morning. It's super good. It's almost like a pig's in a blanket, but like on steroids. Really good. <laughs> Buck. Just that much closer. Damn. I might regret that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he might. <laughs> oh. It's a nice buck. Twenty seventy two yards. I don't know, just not what I'm looking for. I, <laughs> I know it's crazy. I, and I don't want to say looking for, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful buck that I think in another year or two, you give him another year or two and he's going to be a fantastic buck. He's got everything. He's, he's not that heavy, but he's got decent width, he's got good forks, good height. I know there are bucks here that just have major lead mass. And I think that's what I'm looking for more than anything, is just some crazy mass. I don't know. I'll say just like being here and I have one more day after today. Warming up a little bit, it's two degrees now. We have seen some deer. We saw a small four point here. We saw the really nice four point that tempted me along with a four by three. Then down here we've got a tall three by three. I think he's the same buck from yesterday. And uh, I don't want other little forky jobby with a group of does, but at least there's some more new deer moving through. Fingers crossed it keeps happening that way. One of my approaches to this hunt is that it's this deer herd has had some tough winter kills. And I'd probably just go home without my tag punch before I'd shoot a deer to say, oh, I failed the tag. I don't know. This how it is. I, you know, if I saw a really nice young three and a half four and a half year old buck I'd like to see him get to six and a half because he's one of the few deer that have made it through those hard winters I might end up with a tag in my pocket wouldn't be the first time won't be the last but then I might end up with big Hank also Michael says that we're still gonna shoot a great big one drive around and check some other spots which would be further down the migration path. Now that the wind's picking up I think these deer are going to drop down into all these little cuts and coolies to get out of the wind. I'm going to go take a road that goes up along those ridges and just look down in every one of these coolies that have protection from the wind and see what we see have anything else to do this afternoon when the sun is high so put on some miles do some glass and see some different country we're just trying to be patient this morning another guy shot a buck last night two guys shot bucks when the hunt started everybody was oh i'm gonna hold out for a mature you know five and a half or better and and maybe some of them are that age, but everyone's giving up, but I'm not. I'm too stupid to give up. I've had my chances. I could have shot a really nice buck this morning. Two or three mornings ago, I could have shot a really nice one. I mean, I thought they were really nice. The, the crowd who is into scores and stuff probably wouldn't get that excited, but I just wanted to hunt the whole hunt or until I just saw that that one, whatever that one is. So looks like I'm going to get to hunt the whole period that I was here. Well, tired of sitting up here in the wind looking at this three-point bedded down here. So uh, earlier, uh, three locals that we've met over the last, I think we met them four days ago, uh, Austin, Ty, and Keisha. Uh, they brought us donuts this morning even. Uh, 
They said that there was a buck that they were going to go look at over there. We spent a ton of time driving around over there, so we're going to go see if we can hook up with them, see what they're finding. I know, no sense sitting here looking at the same buck all day when you know you're not going to shoot them. So. And if nothing else, we'll be back here in the morning. Uh, here is Austin's truck. I wonder if they found what they were looking for. They said they'd seen a buck out here. Looks like they're looking at something. Looks like it. They were just over near us. We were BSing them. They said, ah, oh, we're going to go drive around out here. And so, we'll see what they're doing. I don't know what. I hate to bother them. But they got their spotter out. I'm assuming they got something going there. So we saw them out here. They, they were just up at our spotting now and said, ah, oh, there's a buck out there we're gonna go check on. And so we came out here and saw them checking on it. So we walk up here, well, what are you looking at? There's a pretty nice deer there. But I just have this weird thing about if I'm not the one who spotted it and found it, then but I better make up my mind pretty soon I think I'm going to walk back to the truck and get my pack and get my rifle I'm probably at least going to make a stock this is going to be tough I got wind I got lots of deer I got all kinds of problems you know, when I saw you guys four days ago, I'm really glad you guys did that U-turn and said, hey, that might be Randy Newberg. I told Ty, so let's get out there and let's find somebody with a tag and let's get out and help some people. That's, that's, what, we're, that's what hunting is about. It's helping hunting. They say they just come and do this for fun, so. Oh, yeah, all the time. All right. Yeah, Here's what we're going to do. Though. I hate it with the wind. The wind's going to be kind of a little at our back, but we got to get to that rock up there. That's, right. that's the only place I don't see deer from here. I'm thinking that rock's gotta be within, it's gotta be within 300, but yeah. I'm thinking you're like around 200. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's just go. Quit talking about it. They're feeding that way with their butts to the wind right now. If we can get over to that ridge, we might be safe. There's probably 20 deer there. Does that are, our wind is bad, but I'm gonna keep the sun at our back. I want to go single file. I want you guys right on my butt when I go over this hill. We're going to go single file, okay? That's our only hope. He's up and feeding away from us right now. You on him? Huh? Where'd he go? Yeah, he's running. It's a smaller buck and then a bigger buck. Come on, I'm gonna lean across this rock here. Oh, he's looking to have it. Yep. Ready? Yep. 
He jumped like he was hit. There he is. He's down. He's down. <laughs> what a good <sighs> What a rodeo is right. Oh my goodness. I saw him tip over. Didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Let's go get our packs. What do you think, man? <laughs> Can't believe it. I, I, I'll be honest with you folks, I almost wasn't going to shoot this buck because we pull up and they've got him located and we've been visiting with them for the last three or four days and normally, you know, we do everything on our own, but I'm not here to hide anything from you. Austin and Ty and Keisha found this buck. You look at our Onyx tracks, we have, well, we've been down that road a few times. We've been out here doing the same thing. I'm like, no, this is what we do. This is the fun stuff. So. Holy smoke. A nice buck. I wanted a heavy one. Pretty tight on the inside, but lots of mass, lots of character. He's everything I would have wanted in a hunt like this. Yeah, that's cool. Super cool. And a big old boy. Thank you, Mr. Buck. Thank you. He's just a cool, gnarly, old, heavy buck. And he's not, not going to win any trophy contest, but I don't care. That thing is sweet. I what's, said, what's going on up here? Still got some sweet. velvet. He's all bladed there. I said I wanted a heavy old buck. And look at the big old nose on this guy. Actually, his teeth are pretty good. He's not as old as I thought he was. But he's heavy. Look at the mass on that. Got all kinds of gnarly knobs and stuff here. Got a little bit of a extra point there. Oh man, thank you, Buck. Thank you. I got to get my tag out. Punch it. I've never done that before. Learn something new every day. No charge for that advice. Thank you, sir. Usually we undo these load shelves and haul it in there, but since we have some friends, yeah. That. Oh. So let me ask you a question. Are you glad you shot him? You were asking What's us. What's that? You're asking us if we should have shot him. I mean, what are your thoughts? Oh, you? I'm so glad I shot him, but I just. I want the world to know how much credit you guys deserve for this. I'm, all about, I'm not about the credit, man. I just like being out here. We're good. We're oh, yeah. about ready to leave Wyoming with a bunch of great meat, a great deer, and some new friends, I hope. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys ever yeah. get to Montana. You'll let us know or yeah. if we ever get down uh, your way. Oh, yeah. Come back. I, oh, I'll come back anytime they you give me a are, tag. You guys are fun. Wow. <laughs> Thank nice. you guys so much. Thank I can't you. tell you how much. Thanks for the experience. Yeah. Yes. Thanks so, so much.
the chance to yeah. learn. And they turned me on to the greatest donut shop in all of Wyoming. You guys all know I was fond of Jerry's Donuts and Rollins. Well, it closed this summer. But now Rock Springs has the donut shop. We got two boxes of donuts that, well, we had. We got two empty donut boxes in the truck, I should say. What was the name of that? Cowboy Donuts. Cowboy Donuts. Yeah, you got to get them every time. They're good. And, and go to Instagram and find Kreta Hunting, K-R-E-T-T-A, Yep. and follow them. They okay. got some really cool mother pictures. That's what we live for. The first day they saw us, we were parked along the road and they went flying by. <laughs> and they did a donut right in the road in front of us. Yeah, I seen you smiling in the window. I was like, that's, that's definitely him. <laughs> <laughs> we had to go over there. We had to. Yeah. So four days later, a whole lot of storytelling. And we got this really wonderful Wyoming mule deer to show for it. So, my buddy. All right, I got 1% battery. That's okay. why I love mule deer, because of the character. Thanks for watching, folks. Till next time. Hopefully it's not this cold next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you.